students in this video we'll discuss example 24 of trigonometry chapter that is 2 cos square x plus 3 sin x is equals to 0 but for 2 cos square x and plus 3 sin sin x we don't really have a direct formula so i'll split cos square x is equals to 1 minus sin square x i get this from sin square x plus cos square x is equals to 1 so cos square x is equals to 1 minus sin square x as I have sin x here, I have converted this cos also in sin terms. So when I multiply this 2, I get 2 minus 2 sin square x plus sin x is equals to 0. Now this looks like a quadratic equation. Let me rearrange the terms and show you. That is minus sin square x plus sin x and this 2 I will shift it here, this side. That is equals to 0. So doesn't this look like a quadratic equation? Yes, it is a quadratic equation. As I don't need a negative sign here, I'll multiply a minus throughout the equation so that the negative sign will convert to positive and all the positive will convert to negative that is equals to 0. If you want, you can keep as it is but for my convenience, I have done this. So now 2 sin square x minus 3 sin x minus 2 is equals to 0 is in this form ax square plus bx plus c is equals to 0 that is quadratic equation form. Now let us find the factors of this quadratic equation. So 2 into 2 will be 4 and to get this minus 3 I can split this as minus 4 plus 1 that gives you minus 3. So 2 sin square x minus 4 sin x plus 1 sin x that is minus 4 sin x plus 1 sin x minus 2 is equals to 0. Now let's find the common terms. From this 2 term I get 2 sin x common. So what remains inside the bracket is sin x minus 2 and from this only 1 is common that is sin x minus 2 is equals to 0. So sin x minus 2 and 2 sin x plus 1 is equals to 0. If you find complications in directly factorizing this quadratic equation you can also simplify this and get the factors. You can consider sin x as z so that will be 2z square minus 3z and minus 2 is equals to 0. So that you can easily Take the factors of this quadratic equation and what you get factors is z minus 2 and 2z plus 1. And now we can substitute the value of z that will be sine minus 2 and 2 sine plus 1. You get the same answer. You get the same answer. You follow whichever method is convenient to you. So now I can equate sine x minus 2 is equal to 0 and 2 sine x plus 1 is equal to 0 separately because I need the general equations of the two equations separately. Correct. So sin x minus 2 can also be written as sin x is equals to 2. But sin x is equals to 2 is not possible because the value of sin lies in between minus 1 and plus 1. So sin x is equals to 2 it is not possible. So let's leave it. But here we have 2 sin x plus 1 is equals to 0 that we can also write it as 2 sin x is equals to minus 1. 2 sin x is equals to minus 1 so sin x will be minus 1 by 2. So we can also write this as sin x is equals to minus sin pi by 6. Sin pi by 6 is nothing but half isn't it 1 by 2. So now to get this in the form of sin x is equals to sin y we need to shift this sign on in the we need to shift this sign in the theta that is sin x is equals to sin minus pi by 6. Now it is in the form of sin theta is equals to sin y. And for sin theta is equals to sin y we have a relation theta is equals to n pi plus minus 1 whole raised to n into y. That's what we are using here. So here theta is x and y is minus pi by 6. So theta is x n pi plus minus 1 whole raised to n and what is y? y is minus pi by 6. And instead of writing the minus pi by 6 here separately, I'll change this plus sign and I'll write the negative sign here. But in your textbook, you may find a different value that is you may find 7 pi by 6. But sine minus pi by 6 and sine 7 pi by 6 gives a same value of minus 0.5. Sine minus pi by 6 is nothing but sine minus 30 degree. And this will this is nothing but sine 210 degree that is 7 into pi by 6 will be 210 degrees. So sine 210 degrees and sine minus 30 degrees will have the same minus 0.5 value. Okay, both both the values are correct, so don't confuse yourself. You may get the different pi terms, but the values remain same. Both are correct. Okay, so don't confuse yourself. 
Okay, students, that's all in this video. Thank you.